Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm amazingly anatomical and I'm so excited to make videos on the human body and science in general. Today we're going to talk about our bodily liquids and chub transport. In a more scientific sense, we're going to explore the anatomy of the lymphatic system and diseases and disorders that can result from problems in the lymphatic system. As usual, all from the high school perspective. Let's dive in! So what exactly is the lymphatic system and why is it important to us? Well, for starters, the lymphatic system is like any other organ system. Cells, tissues, organs, and vessels working together to perform certain functions. In this system, these cells, tissues, and organs are responsible for transporting lymph back into our bloodstream slash circulatory system. After hearing this, you might be thinking about what lymph is. Lymph is usually a colorless fluid that is made from primarily lymphocytes, which are a type of white blood cell that attacks bacteria in our blood, and chyle, a protein and fat-filled fluid made in our intestines. The four key functions of our lymphatic system are maintaining our body fluid levels, absorbing fats and proteins from our intestines slash digestive tract, transporting waste and abnormal cells out of the nymph, and protecting our body against bacteria, fungi, parasites, and other foreign invaders. Now that we have discussed what the lymphatic system is from a broad point of view, let's move on to the anatomy of the lymphatic system. The anatomy of the lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system contains lymph, lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, collecting ducts, the thymus, bone marrow, spleen, appendix, tonsils and adenoid, and pyrus patches. Lymph, like mentioned before, is a colorless fluid that drains from cells, tissues, proteins, fats, minerals, nutrients, cancer cells, and foreign invaders. It also contains lymphocytes and transports them to help fight against diseases. Lymph nodes are responsible for cleansing our lymph as it passes through them. To help picture them, think of a bean. That is how our lymph nodes look. They commonly filter out our cancer cells and any damaged cells. Additionally, Lymph nodes produce our lymphocytes that help fight foreign invaders. There are about 600 lymph nodes in our body, and they can come in connected groups called chains or solo. Lymph nodes are connected through our body through lymphatic vessels. Speaking of lymphatic vessels, they are the network of capillaries and tubes that carry lymph away from our tissues. They collect and cleanse lymph even more from our lymph nodes, and it goes to our collecting ducts in one fluid direction. Our right and left collecting ducts, also known as thoracic ducts, collect our lymph from our lymphatic vessels and connect to the subclavian vein right under our collarbone, and the lymph goes back to our bloodstream. This allows blood pressure to be regulated properly and prevents edema, which is extra fluid around our tissues. Moving on, the thymus is responsible for T lymphocytes, or simply known as T cells, and this fights foreign invaders in our body. Bone marrow, which is the soft sponge tissue in the center of our bones, produces red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The biggest lymphatic organ, the spleen, stores and regulates our blood and produces white blood cells. Our appendix contains lymphoid tissue that can destroy bacteria before even reaching our intestine wall. Tonsils and adenoid take away pathogens from stuff we eat and breathe. Lastly, pyrus patches regulate and eliminate bacteria in our intestines and are located in our mucous membrane. Like any other organ system, the lymphatic system will have problems and conditions that affect us. These can happen at an early age before birth or due to age and injury. I'm going to start off with lymphedema. Lymphedema is when there is a swelling of any body part because of a lymphatic fluid buildup in our tissues and lymph isn't flowing throughout our body as normally as a result. It occurs most often in the legs and arms, but it can also happen in the genitals, breasts, chest, abdomen, and head. Physical therapists and rehabilitation specialists can give you a treatment for lymphedema. Lipedema causes excess fat to collect in the lower part of our body and is more common in women. This condition typically runs throughout the family. Podoconiosis is a rare type of lymphedema and is often the cause of long-durated exposure to mineral deposits in volcanic rock red clay soils. It is more common in tropical regions and is an inflammatory skin disease that starts at the foot and goes up to the leg and knee. 
Next up is Gorham's disease. Gorham's disease is a rare bones disease where blood vessels grow out of control and completely destroy the bone. It is most common in the pelvis and shoulder. Let's move on to intestinal lymphangiostasia, which occurs when our lymph vessels form abnormally and block lymph in the intestines. This can lead to edema and can result in a swollen abdomen and fluid around our lungs. Lymphangiomatosis occurs when many tumors or cysts grow in our body's lymphatic system. These tumors aren't cancerous, but they invade our body tissue and compress other structures. They most commonly grow in our organs, bones, and connective tissue. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about protein-losing enteropathy, or simply known as PLE. This is when there is a low amount of protein into our intestines, and therefore less protein in our blood. It occurs when lymph is not transported properly in our body and is associated with celiac disease, cardiac disease, and inflammatory bowel disease. To aid your lymphatic system, make sure you guys are safe around dangerous chemicals, drink lots of water, and stay healthy. And that's the end of the video. I know that was a lot of information, but if you're interested in learning about anything else, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you can, please leave a like and subscribe and check out my previous videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!